What is going on guys? This is Joe Young coming at you another video for the week. So this week I'm going to give you guys an update on my 54 gallon planet discus slash angelfish tank. So you guys have not seen an official update on this video since January when I swapped out the substrate for the year. Now you saw another glimpse of the tank when I got the new Titan UNS uh, LED and installed it for the tank. But other than that you guys have not seen an update since then. So for the past two months or so, I've been struggling to figure out what is wrong with this tank. Now as you can see, the plants do not look too hot. Everything is like slowly melting back on me and I'm getting a lot of stunted growth in the plants. So just a couple days ago, I finally figured out what's wrong with it. So I kind of want to go through the scenario of the tank and what, you know, has happened in the last two months. So when I swapped out the new LED, um, the LED has only one setting where it's 100%. The only thing you can do to adjust this is actually adjusting the height for more or less par. So luckily I picked up a par meter uh, not too long ago. So there's no real official like par reading in terms of like where to keep the plants at. What I did was I had another planet tank um, right next to me that's doing really well. You know, it has high tech, you know, plants there. I measured the par there and I tried to match the par as best I could. After a couple weeks of just moving the lights up and down, nothing really changed for the plants. The plants were still melting back and it was really growing at all. During this time frame, I did make some changes where in terms of the dosing, I went to a glass like pump style bottle instead of my normal just, I guess, squeegee bottle. Initially, I thought I wasn't giving enough nutrients to the tank. So I decided to just kind of up the dose a little bit more for the next two weeks or so just to see if it will help out. In the next two weeks, nothing happened. We still got the same results. You know, the tank was getting basically twice as much nutrients in the tank, but the plants were still just not growing. Now with stunted growth in plants, the next thing would be CO2. Now if you guys know anything about planet tanks or if you guys done planet tanks, pretty much once you have your CO2 dialed in, it's pretty much set for life. You don't touch it, you don't do anything else to it, it's set, it's done. So this regulator for this tank has been, you know, been running for like the last three to four years on the same settings. I've never touched it ever. The only thing I've ever adjusted was the lights and the nutrients, basically the fertilizer dosing to the tank. So by having to adjust CO2 here, it was kind of just weird for me, but I figured, you know, that was really the last thing I can do to see if, you know, the plants would react to this. And so I upped the CO2 slightly just to see if something would change. A week went by and nothing. The plants were still melting back and the plants weren't even growing, you know, as healthy as what it did before. So I'm sitting there scratching my head and just trying to figure out what's going on. And, you know, after looking at everything else, I knew that it had to be the CO2. So I looked at the CO2 a lot closer and, you know, even though I was upping the CO2, the bubbles weren't coming out as big or as rapidly as it should have and so you know just kind of looking it over it finally clicked it was my co2 regulator it was broken so if you look at the co2 regulator this is the carbon doser i've had this for five to six years now um and it always blinks so the led indicator always blinks the one thing that wasn't happening that it should have happened was the clicks so normally with this regulator it blinks and clicks so it let you know that it's actually working. Now, a lot of you guys are probably wondering, like, if you've heard clicks for the last, you know, five to six years and it stopped clicking, like, shouldn't that have been, like, a red flag? Yes, I totally agree. But in this same room or office, I have two planet tanks and I'm running, you know, two carbon dosers on both of them and one of them clicks and one of them doesn't. So to me, when I'm hearing clicks on, you know, one of the tanks, I'm just assuming that both of them are working. So what I did was I swapped out the regulator from the tank outside um, temporarily um, because I'm going to go ahead and send this in and see if we can get it fixed uh, just to see, you know, if this was really the cause. And, you know, once I hooked it up, I set the CO2 back to what it was, you know, originally turned it on and, you know, the bubble size was completely different. It was like almost three times the size and, you know, the the rate of CO2 that was coming out was coming out a lot more. So when it was broken, um, it looked like CO2 
was coming out of the regulator, but it wasn't clicking. So I think that it was either completely open where it was just letting CO2 go out and it was only at a, you know, a small rate, like any adjustments, it didn't matter. Like it, it didn't change whatever it was coming out of. So I think it was kind of stuck in one setting. So I'm glad that I finally figured out what was wrong with the tank. It wasn't, you know, the lighting. It wasn't the fertilizer. It was literally the CO2 regulator. Like I, ha I haven't touched this regulator in like six years and it was the regulator that failed. That's crazy. So since the tank looks terrible, like the plants look terrible, I went ahead and just trimmed back everything down to pretty much nothing and replanted everything and we're just going to start fresh again. So the lesson for the week is if you have any stunted growth in your plants, most likely it's your CO2. Either you're not getting enough CO2, which in this case I wasn't, or you're not giving enough fertilizer uh, to your plants. Those are the two things that are lacking if your plants are stunted. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's update. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure you guys are subscribed. And like always, to awesome, guys. Peace.